Getting your project team comfortable with using the Sheet Set Manager is pretty straightforward. What we do is try to educate the user that the Sheet Set is basically just a collection of various sheets that comprise the project. Now, one thing that does tend to confuse people is they tend to think that each one of these is a drawing. And that is not necessarily true. Each one of these is in fact a layout. So while that may mean that one layout is per drawing, there could actually be several layouts here that could be from one DWG file. So the thing to really educate people on is these are layouts, not model space tabs, not a DWG, but layouts within the DWGs. Now, once you have that mental picture, it now becomes very easy to just select the sheet that you want to work with, double click, and that will go ahead and bring it up in the editor over here. At this point, the Sheet Set Manager kind of becomes cumbersome and might be in the way a little bit here, so I like to use the Auto Hide functionality, and that minimizes it and keeps it out of my way while it's easy for me to bring up drawings, and then I can simply, uh, you know, zoom around and, and work in these drawings as I ordinarily would. Whenever I want access to the Sheet Set Manager again, I just come over here and, and bring it back up. So you'll notice that after I open this file, we now see a lock icon here, which means that the Sheet Set Manager actually understands that this sheet is being modified. It knows who is modifying it, and you can see this in the, the summary graphic here, and that will preclude anyone else from performing the editing on that file. What you'll also notice is down here in the structural sheets, these structural sheets have been placed into folders that are not editable by me. So therefore we see a fixed padlock on them. Even though they're not open by anyone, I may not open them for editing because I don't have adequate privilege to do so. So if I try to double click this, it will simply tell me that my only option is to open this as read only, which I can certainly do. And this would allow me to go ahead in here and you know, have a look around or, or perform a print or any other types of functions that I would need to do. I just simply don't have editing access. So what, what's really nice to notice about this is that all this functionality is very straightforward, very graphically easy to navigate for the user. And all of the permissions and the paths and, and the, the file mechanics of it really don't enter into the user's mind. They just point, click, and they use it. So if you emphasize these concepts while you're trying to get people comfortable with using the Sheet Set Manager, I think you'll see that they will drop right into it, learn it straight away, and it's really not a hard sell. The only thing that surprises me about Sheet Set Manager is that more people aren't using it. So we'll go ahead and start looking at some of the properties and how we can actually start taking advantage of the Sheet Set Manager in our next couple of modules.